Miari Ustakasakula. Hola y buenas tardes. Hello and good evening. This is Edba, aka Phoenix Daino, playing some Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Alright. So into Hyrule Field we go. Hearing it buzz all the freaking time until he, you know, takes his dirt nap or whatever. Okay, so we want to go here. And that makes it... Okay. Sorry, we got to make shit stupid proof. I've said this in previous slides and I'll say it again. My sense of direction is not top tier. Not top tier. Uh-oh. I know what you are. You want to be sneaky? Yeah, I want to be sneaky. Now, but we're stay right there. Well, that didn't really do too much damage. Oh, the ship broke. And homie's getting tired. Hey, bow goblin horn, bow goblin horn, a sharp horn with multiple barbs. Attach it to a weapon. To increase its attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. And that's what we did with the elixir. Wait. Bow Goblin Fang. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir or attach it to an arrow to increase its attack power. Okay. This stuff to build, but for what? I do not know. See, look, I'm already getting turned around. Shit. This way. This is the way I'm supposed to go. Oh, my husband said you can ride the deer, so let me see if I can get close enough to it to not have to walk the whole way to the Wait, there's supposed to be a food I can eat. Yeah. No, that just feeds you off. There's different stuff that makes you, like, sneakier. Stay right there. It's fine. Oh, not sneaky enough. Okay. <sighs> it didn't hurt to try. Mm-hmm. Do I want to fight three of these fuckers? Yeah, I can do it. Maybe. We shall see. Wait, I should say this before I do anything else. That way I'll have to do all the shit I've already done again. Sounds smart to me. Okay. Wow, there are 70 people in here now? Holy shit, where'd y'all come from? Hello! <laughs> no, don't get your weapons. Don't do that. Look, I don't appreciate you taking advantage of the height you have here. Thank you very much. Give me that. Oh, let me pick it up. No. Hmm. 
Well, Goblin Mage Field created by attaching a handle to any flat tree bar picked up off the ground. It's pretty shoddy, so don't expect it to last very long. For those new to the chat or to my page at all, um, I, for the first time when new things pop up, I read it out loud for anybody who may be a wild plant that grows in the sun at high altitude, soaked in sunlight, its petals can restore health to trees without gloom when used in cooking. Sorry for the ADHD moment, but like, um, I read the stuff out loud for people who may be visually impaired or, you know, have audio processing issues or whatever the case may be. Where the fuck? Okay, this way. Can I collect everything? Oh no. Sorry guys, you're gonna see a lot of ADHD moments while I'm playing. I did forget other stuff. See, this is why. Let's save some shit before. I'm a perpetual saver because I am not a professional gamer and you will see me unalive myself and and just get unalived. Oh, 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 wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. That feels like it's pickable, and it is. This healthy herb has not changed since ancient times. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. And will, just, you know, not right now. We're on a mission. See, I don't even have to fight that guy. We're gonna keep those two little hearts for as long as possible. Oh, well, looks like we're still gonna have to fight. What? I probably don't have the stamina for it yet. I just started playing the game. I ain't gonna be able to catch him. Oh, Jesus, we are horses. It's taking forever. Look at that. He's huge and wow. One, two, three, four of them. Ooh. We want mushrooms. A highly shroom, a common mushroom found near trees around high road. Eat it to restore half a heart. Cool, 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 cool. We will probably click that bridge the next time we get to a pot. Mm, too close for comfort. Wait. Is that even something worth walking to? Yeah, probably. Run away. Who is that person? Oh no, we're not going that way either. Fuck that. I think we will go ahead and pin that. So we can remind ourselves until we get a map that there's some bad guys over there and some bad guys around here. It, oh, that may have been too close to my own freaking thing. Yeah. Let's try that again. Let's go with something else. Yeah, it's a little better, I guess. Bad guys here. And pretty sure this is the correct place. Good morning, people in the chat. Hope y'all are having a good day. This is Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, look, another one. Wait, is that something I want to go with? Yeah, you know what? Let me see. Mm, wait, no. Down. Wait, wait. Ooh, okay. Mm hmm. Link, Mr. Link. Is that really you? Where have you been? No one's seen you or Princess Zelda since you went into the castle to investigate the gloom. 
And that's when the castle rose into the air. Everyone's been so worried about both of you. Pura has barely slept. She's been trying to figure out where you two went. Uh -huh. I'm right here. At the moment, Pura should be in that building with the telescope. Sorry, the computer blocks a little bit of the text. Please hurry there now. She'll want to know. That you're... All right, okay. So you know everyone looks straight there. Because we are easily distracted and we'll end up wandering around this bitch. How do I... Did I miss a door? Like, am I dumb? Do I just, maybe once I walk up there, there'll like be a cutscene or something? I don't fucking know. Pose. Interesting. Ah, oh, what a pleasant evening. Hey, hey you, where have you been? Oh, okay. Head of Pura Pad Development. It's a head of Pura Pad Development, but um, don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. Okay, but where the fuck is she? She's supposed to be here. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and, Prin and the princess disappeared. She's in the building with the telescope up on the second floor. Go see her and give her some peace of mind, will ya? Okay, so the other dude lied to me. Hold on. Telescope, telescope. Oh, on the second floor. Okay, okay. Bro literally just said that. Okay. We can follow instructions. That hair, those eyes. Dr. Pura, the swordsman. The swordsman has returned. Oh, they're so excited. Oh. Your werewolf is there. Listen, you're not a ghost, are you? Hey. That looks interesting. So when you and Princess Zelda will be meet friends in this castle, you discover a mysterious mummy who suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura pad from an unusual creature, and learn that your new arm belongs to someone named Lauren. The master sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice, and find your way here. Ah, uh, back. Huh? Then... What? Are you saying you came from up there? Yes, yes I did. I jumped from up there too. This Raru we met, I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Calamity, hmm. upheaval, we just can't catch a fucking break. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Yeah. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that truly was the princess, 
And that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link, but I need you to meet the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Haas. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you yeah. can. I know that mummy may be lurking somewhere around here, which is concerning to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Link. Oh, Linky. She calls him Linky. Cute, I guess. Okay, so on the screen, our character profiles. Nice. And then main quest to the kingdom of Hyrule complete. And now we have a new objective, Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Probably to find that Haas guy she just mentioned. So there's that. Let's go to the map. We can delete this pin because now we got to go towards the elephant. Okay. Hold on. Wait, I can jump down from up here, right? Do I need to... Yeah, I need to activate this. I don't remember how I did it before, though. <sighs> so for those who haven't watched previous slides, I had to restart my game, which is why I said I don't remember how to activate it because I have before. Um, you can go to my alternate profile at Phoenix Taino. Um, it's the one up here. And, uh... There's a video on my profile there about what had happened to my, to my game that what was, I had progressed a pretty, pretty good ways. You know, I'd gotten to the point where I had the mission to go to like four different, the four different um, kingdoms, I guess. The, that go to the Zora, go to the Gerudo, go to the Goro, go to the Rito. I believe is the other um, group of people in the game. Farming hoe. <laughs> a farming tool primarily used for tilling fields. Its fine craftsmanship is sturdy enough to withstand breaking field work. Bad breaking field work to be specific. If I would read it correctly. But its battle applications are untested. Yeah, no, we're going to let them stay untested because. Oh, here's this guy. So this guy is like way too into his boss and we gotta help him keep that fire. With all the shit that's right there. Back. See? Whoa, 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 darn it all. President Hunt said, are you okay? Oh no, what have I done? He's dedicated to say the least. All right, I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over again. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault, fault startling me like that. Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson. So I pin the blame to you, or on you. Unforgivable. President Hudson? You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. Wow. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere. And now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Construction. And besides all that, sorry, what's that is? Hey, I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. Ooh. And that's to put up these signs all over the place so that everyone know that Hudson Construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. Ooh. These portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail, noble, glorious detail. Okay. So forgivable for even one of these. Oh, oh, no, we're not doing that. Sorry, guys. That was uh, an alarm on my computer, apparently. So I don't get phone calls.
moving along. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. And so I pledge to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson. I'm here for you. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. I'm going to leave him to it. And he put, what did he say? I really should redouble my support. That's not going to work. Ooh. I'm sure I'm... We'll come back to that guy. Depending on the map of time. What you got to say, honey? Kionona Shrine. I read that right. Huh? Why? You scared me. What are you doing at such an hour? The Hyrule Castle Chasm is nearby. It's dangerous, you know. For all I know, the shrine could be dangerous, too. I'd say most things are dangerous these days. That with, uh, what with the upheaval. Watch your back. Chasm? More like chasms. You know, the creepy openings in the ground. Ever since the upheaval, they're all over. In this area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle and to the south of Lookout Landing. I heard that members from the research team went rooting around in some, <clears throat> in some and ended up in a bad way. It's best to steer clear. I'm glad I'm searching shrines and not the chasms. Let's talk about the shrines. Huh? You mean like the one right there? When the shrines appeared, it caused such a commotion that they landed in the newspaper. Mysterious shrines appeared all over the world overnight. Was smack on the front page, you know? Mm -hmm. So far, we know they're from the Age of Legends. Ooh. But did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? And just what are they, anyway? Huh? Aside from the shrines, we've also got the chasms, of course. Tell you the truth, we don't know squat about all the things that sprung up due to the upheaval. The shrines and chasms, they could be dangerous, which would be scary, so we need to investigate them pronto. Mm -hmm. The people from the search party are putting in long hours at Hyrule Castle, so I intend to do the same. Okay. Oh, I got caught walking there. Mm -hmm. I skipped that. Serving horses. I need to. That's gonna be my next mission. Find a stable. Cause I want. I want my horses. I don't want to have to keep combat training. Okay. Are you gonna give me a badass weapon? Some cool ass armor. Do I have things that I should? place. Uh, yes, absolutely. I do. Mm. That's still good, though. An age one art shield because of the Another attack such as the I didn't say anything about. It's just a spiky shield. Okay. I'm gonna... Yeah. That one's more sturdy. Nope. That's not what I meant to do either. Or that. See, this is why. Don't do drugs, kids. Will it make a difference? Yeah, no, he's not even active yet. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Oh. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Okay, so we jump. Oh, and a flurry. Oh, snap. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. How do we do that? And back pedal. Okay. You're not even looking at me. Oh, I didn't. Oh, there we go. No. Wait, hold on. I'm about to die. Don't just fucking around.
Hey, now we're talking. Just had it be patient. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Okay. And then press A. Okay. Oh. <laughs> press A. Okay, there we go. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Okay, so why? Your mastery of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna draw you. Wait, do I have too many metal things? That's not metal, is it? Oh, I think I'm good. <clears throat> I'm probably not gonna be running into like. <sighs> no, best to keep some wooden things just in case it starts raining and thundering. I don't want to get electrolocuted. Zonite sword. Zonite sword made of zonite. It resonates with attached zonite devices to slightly increase its attack power. Okay, yeah, I wanna. I wanna use you. Let me fuse you. Speaking of which, wait, no, back. Hmm. No, let's try it. Let's do it. Yeah, that wrong button. Okay. No, no. I had the shooting in here. Just this. Just this. This is what I want now. Quickly take out materials. Up. Oh, nice. I'd be forgetting about the shortcuts, though. Why did I pick it up when I'm trying to fuse something? All right, so now we know the shortcut, and we're going to try and get in the habit of using it instead of opening the menu every time. It's not going to let me pick it up. You know what? Fuck it. We're just going to do it the way we know it works. And then this one. Oh, I need to equip something else. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let us listen. Hello, hello, people in the chat. My bad. I didn't realize anyone was in here. Clearly more focused on playing Tears of the Kingdom than anything. Hope everyone's having a good day so far. Um, so that automatically saves and... Wanna get the mushroom. Hmm. Please let this be. I'm probably gonna have to. Yeah, I remember I had to climb around. It was there. Don't worry about me. 
I'm here to find Captain Haas. Get the story of this game progressing. Okay, it's starting to get boring. I don't know what's over there, but we ain't going that way, I don't think. We're supposed to go all the way to the top. Who's the Casa Cabo? Miyati! Sorry, I'm just now seeing that there's even comments in the chat. I think it's cool how you're reading all the dialogue even when you didn't notice people were in here. Yeah, I'm trying to make a habit of it because like um the first the first time I went live, I kept forgetting to do it. <laughs> and I was like, oh guys, I'm so sorry, because I get so excited and want to like do the next thing and then just skip the the text. Hello, it should be completely to accessibility. I'm trying, I'm trying. I know that um, it can be really frustrating when um, you just want to communicate. You want to be able to communicate with people just like everybody else. Um, I think I went the wrong way. Or am I supposed to climb up here and then jump to the other? Maybe, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. That seems pretty far though. Climb up here or not. Oh, shit. Wait. I feel like, yeah, I'm going the total wrong way. Maybe I should just come up there and get a better view of where the fuck I even am. We can do that. Oh, right here. This is where I'm supposed to be. That's the guy I'm looking for. Right fucking there. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Excuse me. Huh? Link, is that you? You're alive? And all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. Hang on, you're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you and you're here to help with the search? Why don't they just let Link talk? Let, let's let us hear his voice for once all these years. Come on. I see, or maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. I'm confused too. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Oh. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us though. We need some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Oh. Captain, it's Princess Zelda. Oh, shit. What is the name of the game you're playing? It's uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It's the most recent Zelda game. It came out on, um, on the 12th. Princess Zelda, she's safe. I don't think that's actually her, though. We've been seeing, like... Shit like that. Wait, what? You saw that too, Link? You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? How strange. This, this is an emergency situation. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it might sense... It makes sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. All right, we're going to do that. So updated crisis at Hyrule Castle. We got we got more. We got new shit to do. We're going to make sure I want my paraglider. I want to be able to yeet myself off things and glide, but I can't do that. Do I want to go there? I don't think so. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cheat. That's why we open that shrine to be able to travel to places quicker. How y'all doing, by the way? How's everybody in the chat this morning going? That's been going pretty good so far. It's been pretty peaceful. Not gonna lie. Hopefully it stays that way. 
Hmm. What did I do the last time? I don't remember what I did the last time I played this. But I feel like is this a flat surface. Just put it down like that. And then get this. No, it's too far. Put it down where they like. Can I fuse it? Like, yeah. Oh. Well, that sucks. Ooh, maybe I need to do something more like just stand it up and then take one of those. Hold on. Sorry, y'all are like gonna hear all of my thoughts out loud. So there's that. Stand there, just stand there. Don't move a muscle. I think I got this. I think. I think. Maybe yes. Maybe. Should I put one on the other side just to be on the safe side? I think, uh, I think I, yeah, why did I do that? It's supposed to go this way. Okay. Whoa. Will this work? Let's see. Go ahead and let go, friend. Why can't I? Okay. Oh, you're that guy from before. I'm putting President Hudson here too, but I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Oh my God. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. I need more weight. Mm. Oh, I can probably get something to like this. Mm, maybe, I don't know. Great, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm really excited because I got this new game. I had to have my coffee yet, so I'm rotting on the couch right now. Oh no, I do, I haven't had any coffee today. I, I can understand that. I have had something else though this morning, so my stomach is off. Feels like I might have a um, travel episode today. Actually, thank you for asking. A, a what? A realm travel episode? I mean, elaborate if you don't mind. Like, oh shoot, what was it? Sorry, ADHD moment, but. Um, I'm sorry that your stomach is off. That that sounds like it sucks. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. Can I have you heal? Yes. Wait, no. Forward. Up. Down. No, okay. We don't need you so much on the other side. We... I might give up in a minute and just go back to the mission, the main mission, over here doing side quest bullshit. That is not where I said I wanted you to go. Maybe at that point we've got a hole. Okay. I do this shit again. Maybe. Oh, can they? How you forgot to like stick it? <laughs> no, I didn't. Why you no stick to the other? Oh, you know what? You're not all the way. Is that why? Is that why? Because we're gay. Or maybe there's just not enough space and I gotta move this to the other side. I don't know what 
Let's, let's, let's do some shit real quick. Because this is getting aggravating. I'm, I might be too impatient for this. Not even been a front. Okay. Attach you. And then can I attach you at an angle? Now, if you let go, what happened? I'm not reading all that again. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, we did it. Does that count? How's the president standing? Oh, shit. That was brilliant. I would never have thought of that. All right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Oh. Just put this right here. Get that fastened and. Dun, 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 dun. We did it. Okay. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. Good. It feels my heart with. It fills even my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Red rupee. Okay. That's how we can make a little money. 20 rupees. It's red luster tickles your heartstrings. <laughs> it kind of sounded naughty, I'm not going to lie. Also, you might be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. I get veggie rice balls, y'all. And this is homestyle dish of Kakariko Village. And it's stuffed with the bounty of the mountains. That's oddly ah. vague. Um, ah, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something for my premium collection, a special gift from me to you. Sleepover ticket, a lodging voucher for a regular stable bed, a reward for collecting pony points. Spend it at a stable to get some rest and recover from the fatigue of travel. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This way? Oh, I can take that off the map now, too, because I did that. Hmm. Well, can I get closer? Oh, there's already something there. That's right. I'm here to talk to Pora. I'm going to talk to Pora. Okay. We got this. Focus. Focus, Ava. Focus. As y'all watch me play, if you watch me play for more than a couple minutes in one line, you'll hear me redirect myself a lot. <laughs> Such is the nature of one with uh, ADHD. I don't know if I would call it high functioning though. Um, there she is. Okay. Wink. Well, did you find anything? What? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval. For now, at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. Oh yeah, you've still got the Pura pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? It's a little worse for wear, but seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Aha! Are we unlocking things now? Oh, right. I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Josha, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Let me see. Yeah. Did you turn it on? Can we activate? Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Mm-hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Please do. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. Cool. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency... The emergency <laughs> shelter is just the spot for you. It has free bread, free beds, and a kitchen. So it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info, talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. Okay. If you need clothing for your travels, you should go to Mud Shop. I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. All right, Josha, let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Josha, you're in charge of the switch. Okay. Okay, Doc, you can count on me. And done. Okay. Segway, hope that was correct reading. Yeah, that's that's one. Um, I can't remember which language specifically. I want to say more than one language. Um, that you know, uh, the constructed Daino language uses segue for a good day. Um, in Hiwatahia, we say usaka sakabo for good day. Um, and that's because after, like, at one point in time, it was believed for Thai to mean good. And that's what people went with for the longest. But um, after doing like comparisons with different Arawakan languages, we found that Thai actually is a variation of like Ita, Ita. Um, Hita, I think is the word for blood in Garifuna. Don't quote me on that. I'm probably not remembering correctly, but there's basically a lot, various different Arawakan languages have um, Ita, um, Itai, Thai, to all mean blood, kin, relative, um, and, you know, hopefully that makes sense and you're picking up what I'm putting down. Okay. Mm. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite right. That should do it. Mm-hmm. Hey, Link, you all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. We're ready, Josha. Pull the switch. Pull the lever, crunk. Please. All right. Where might I find how to learn Puerto Rican? You know, I understand you. Um, well, I mean, Taino doesn't, well, hmm. Before I do any of that, um, to answer the question about uh, how to learn Puerto Rican Taino. So um, when it comes to the different languages, it's really more variations due to um, Yucayeke and what it is that they're teaching and stuff like that. I mean, they all kind of have the same core, right? But the different variations are due to differences in Yucayeke and teachings of the Yucayeke, not, not not by island, right? So um, due to the nature of colonization, uh, Taino culture looks a little different um, in Puerto Rico compared to Jamaica, compared to Cuba, and so on and so forth, right? But like 
um, like I said, a lot of the foundation is the same. Um, and we just see different variations due, due to the fact that different islands were colonized by different um, uh, European powers and all of that jazz. So um, for, if you're someone who is Puerto Rican, it's really up to you which language you want to um, learn, which one vies with you, which one when you're reading it, you know, um, and how the structure of different words and whatnot go. Like if you feel like, okay, this one is a, is well done, well researched and stuff like that. And, you know, it's pretty easy to pick up for me. That's the one I want to learn, you know, hopefully, hopefully that answers your question, but um, I'm going to, I'm going to get back to doing this. I'm about to get launched up in the air. But, oh uh, God. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think if I know anyone in that area, but um, off the top of my head, who what who's okay with like having people sent to them? You know what I mean? Huh. Hold on a second. All right, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your core path. Impressive, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The Porter Pad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly to the map. Pretty great, huh? Mm -hmm. One thing is, you need a paraglider. Yes, I do. Thank you. When you're scanning, it takes a lot of skill and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you, which brings us to this. Hey, finally, my paraglider. Okay, so this item given to you by Pora lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Poetry. Press X in midair to activate it. Okay. Oh. Right? It's showtime. Let's start with the test scan. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test. Just step over there into the circle and find me afterward, all right? Huh. I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has reached the most havoc. Best of luck. Updated crisis at Hyrule Castle. All right, so we're gonna save. I do not wanna have to do all of that reading of text and stuff again. Once is enough. Hallelujah, surface map updated. And we got a sky map update too. Nice. Thankfully, we have a paraglider we can pick up. Wait, are you up there? No? Over there, okay. That works. 
Okay. Back in the game. Okay. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Good. That map is crucial to your search. There are skyview towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Right. Let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. Whew. I'm going to stop getting a drink of water. This, this cotton cough is kicking my ass, you guys. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. Okay, so Rito Village, where the Goro are. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southeast, in the desert. And finally, there's Lana, Laneru? Laneru to the east. Can I read? I can read. I think that's not that right. The strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. I can't say for certain, but... I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Hey Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebra recently. This is pretty weird, yeah? Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to the princess. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. New objective, regional phenomena. Phenomena. Okay. Let's save. I'm gonna get a drink of water. Okay, I'm gonna need you to check if we're cousins, woman. I got my results. We are! We are cousins! We are! Check your messages. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but um, I saw your kit number in the chat. So I went to Jed Match to look, and we are. We're some we're somewhere between like fourth, third and fifth cousins, something like that, I wanna say. Cause when I looked at it, I was like, dang, like the um the relation is pretty close. Like the CM or whatever was bigger than like the the threshold. I think the threshold is like seven or something. And then the more, the higher the number, the more closely related you are. And like, I think yours and ours is like 15 or 16 or something like that. So um, it wasn't like crazy high. Cause like my, to, my parents is like 3000 CM. So it can range from that to be related, but I want to say the the um, threshold was seven. That's like the default. Seven or nine, something like that. Oh my God, that's so cool, right? I, I love, that's one of the things that I do appreciate TikTok for is um, it's a blessing and a curse to be connected to everybody, but like you find your people, like you just, a sangre drama. I cannot stress that shit enough. Okay, let me, let me get back to, let me get back to my game. I can lose focus so easily, so, so easily. Okay, I need to go this way, I think, right? Jeez. So, that guy. Wait, let me make sure. That's Rito Village, right? It doesn't even say. I'm pretty sure. Oh, only one way to know for sure. You want me to find out, rather? I need a horse. Where are my horses? 
where is a good way to check my genealogy? It kind of depends on what you're looking for. Um, if you're trying to um, like build your family tree and look for documents on different family members um, and stuff like that, um, like for example, if you also happen to be someone who's adopted and are trying to go that route as far as finding family and documents and all of that, I think ancestry is the better of of the um, I guess like top more popular commonly used or commonly known DNA test. Um, and then twenty three and me is better as far as like learning um, like the route your ancestors took to get to where, you know, um, your family is from. And, uh, hold on. This takes more brain power than it should look. And that's the thing, like, ugh. okay. Cause there's these controllers and then there's the motion sensor with, which fucks me up sometimes. So that, oh, it's raining. I'm not gonna make it up there. Fuck. Anyway, um, you are, are you a baddie? Oh, you look like a baddie. And I don't mean bad bitch. What was I talking about earlier? See? The DNA tests, that's what I was talking about. It took me a minute, sorry guys. Um, my brain short circuited for a second there. Um, and another shrine, and another one. Well, let me, let me back, be still. <laughs> okay, okay, he's on the phone. I don't know, whoa, that was too close to my face. That's not, we're just gonna get closer and then pin it. That's what we're gonna do. Save some pins for other things. But um, if you want to know, like, the migration pattern your ancestors took, if you want to know, like, what things you are potentially allergic to, what illnesses you may be predisposed to and stuff like that, then 23andMe is the better one for that. Sorry, it took me, like, an hour to get all that out, by the way. I would like to find my clan support series. We are high money or... I research where my grandmother and her mother are from. So we don't we don't have clans like in the in the way that other uh, indigenous like at least in the north in the way that they do right. Um, obviously we have families and clans are families. So um, there's there's that. But um, hold on, sorry I get distracted so easily. My bad guys. But. Um, as far as clans themselves are concerned. Structured the way that Northern natives have them. We don't have that, but obviously we have families. A uh, bow coblin arm, a skeletal arm that keeps moving even after it's severed from its body. It's kind of gross to strap it to your back, but it'll do in a pinch. It's old and fragile, so it's quick to break. All this shit is quick to break. That's the problem. But when you fuse it, a green rupee, a single rupee, its soft green glow puts a smile on your face. So um, when you fuse these suckers, oh, let me get this up on, with shit like this, it makes a weapon that's actually worth a fuck. Oh, I need to equip something else. I mean, yeah. There we go. Look at that shit. 25. Um, yeah. Drop that. Go to the other one. Equip it. Do this, this, do this, and another weapon. That's worth a fuck. No, that's where I activate it. I need to keep going this way. I really need to stop writing though because I like climbing shit. And I can't do that. Oh! What in the Lord of the Rings is this shit? 
Hightail lizard, a lizard found through Hyrule. It's a bit slow to react at times, but if given a chance to escape, it will die off quickly. Cook it with monster parts for a speed boosting elixir. Oh, there's another one. An acorn, often found on the ground near trees, squirrels adore this nut, so you may have competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. Hmm, nice. I would like to find my, oh, I read that already, I think. Uh, I researched for my grandmother and her mother. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Like, when it comes to um, Yukayeke and stuff, because uh, I know a lot of people ask this question, so I figured I'd go ahead and answer it while I have it in my mind. But um, a lot of people will also ask, um, not just about clans, but their, uh, you know, what Yukayeke, their family, would have been in, right? Uh, and how to find that out. This game's like, oh, you cleared an area? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right, I see you trying to sneak up on somebody, bitch. Give me your eyeball. Okay. Hmm. So what? I was talking about you, Gallegas, before, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it was, but um, yeah, there's what we have. The best that most folks have been able to do is um, obviously find out where their family is from if they don't already know, and then um, compare a modern day map to a map from back in the day of the Casitas as chronicled by the Spanish, and you'll know like which cacique it was that, um, whose territory had you lived in those times, you know, um, you would have been living in that particular cacique's territory, thus in their cacique Um But you gallegas from back in the day are not necessarily connected to uh, you gallegas in modern time due to the, uh, due to colonization and, you know, the disruption of, our life as we knew it at that time you know obviously we we adapted we evolved and we're still here but you know it is what it is oh 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 there's the one of the playlists is is literally titled books and it's nothing but book recommendations there's i want to say maybe like seven videos give or take don't quote me on that, but there's a there's a decent amount. Um, and a good bit of them, if you go to www.tainolibrary.org, for a shameless plug, um, you can find them and read them online for free on that website. Um, that's what I had found. I think you've frozen. Oh, no. Did I unfreeze? It looks like I'm unfrozen. Because I have my TV here, the computer here, and the phone over here. Because it's easier to do things if I have to like type in the chat or whatever to do it here than here because I'm doing a balancing act with the laptop right now so that y'all don't see me looking up like this the whole time I'm trying to play. A windy device, he showed that trying. Okay, so what are we doing here? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have you. What do I do? Will you help me up? Do I just stand on you? Will that work? Let's get as close to the wall as possible. You know, just in case things get a little too crazy. 
Well, I don't know if that's going to work or not, but get a little. No, lay down, Link. Hold on, guys. I need to get my shit together here. Why? Hold on. Do I need to be. There's nothing for me to stick it to either, is there? Yeah, there's not. Can I get up here without turning it on or activating it or don't pick it up? I'm getting frustrated with myself. <laughs> Do I, oh, you know what? Instead of doing that shit, why don't I just That's not helping me. Do I need to fuse it to something? Will that help? Like if I fuse it to this? No, I don't think it's gonna help. I don't feel like that's gonna do anything. Hmm. Do I need to use a timer somehow? Because this is supposed to like bring things up. Can I even? Oh, well. Oh, you know what? I'm a dumbass. I have a whole paraglider. Hello. I forgot I had that bitch. Spend so much of the whole old game in the beginning not being able to glide off anything. Oh, oh, I missed something. I missed part of what you said, you unfrozen. I didn't catch all the info that you were telling us. I think you use, hello, McFly. Okay, so um, if you don't mind, what, do you, what was I saying that you remember before I froze? And then I'll try and pick up from there as far as, what did she say, you know? I'm sorry, I didn't realize I had frozen. That's why that won't work. We gotta put it all the way in the water in bottom. That will be the smart thing to do. Hmm. Now we're here. And obviously, that chest. Can I go up here? Hmm. It's just the weight alone. Whoa, what was that? Y'all see that shit? That was crazy. All right. Now, we got you. Stick you here. Probably is another place. And on you go, paraglider. Da, 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 da. Oh. Okay. Well, clearly, you gotta be here. And then we're gonna need. You wait, maybe I should be in it first and then attach. Let me okay. Can I not do it right? Are you facing the phone? Wait. 
looks like that might be the case, or I might need that third one. Oh, I don't need the third one. I just need to make sure it was pointing all the way down. Okay. You were giving info on how to find Gasika in territories. Oh, so basically cross comparing, um, you know, comparing and contrasting rather uh, old maps of the different Gasik Gazos that um, were chronicled and then comparing it to a modern map of the area or areas that you know, you know, your mom and your dad and other family members are from because then you can know, okay, well, if we lived back in those times, then we would be in, you know, insert cacique's name here, we would be in that person's, we would be living in their territory. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that. Impatience. And we got to, all right. Now I can teleport all the way over here instead of having to run. I need my horse. I want my horse. Says plural. There was more than one, but a horse, just one. <laughs> like I'd be happy with just one. Okay. What did I highlight here? Oh, that is. Why did I do that? Oh, because that's the halfway mark that I put down so I can keep track of my shit. Okay. <clears throat> Yay. That looks like it actually may be some stables. Actually, I think it is. I want to say on, this other, on the other side of this bridge. <gasps> what? Yeah, I'm gonna try and fight you, bro. But one thing I do know is that these wells are like, hold on. What do I wanna use for wells? Which symbol? This one? I wanna use this symbol for wells? I think that's this. Okay. These wells all have oh, I'm not sure. I think they don't have one of these. Bright calf, a mushroom that grows in caves and contains luminescent enzymes. Cook it into a dish to give a glowing effect to anyone who eats it. You know what? I said I was gonna get some water before and I still haven't gotten it, so. A sticky lizard, the suction of its toes allows this lizard to easily cling to walls. It could be an asset or a climber on wet surfaces if it were mixed into an elixir. Okay. Fortified pumpkin, an extremely tough pumpkin raised for food. When cooked, the toughness manifests itself by considerably upping defense. Okay. And that's just so it's not super dark in here. And we're going to mark this as a place with a cooking pot. And then I can take this off. Well, yeah, let's leave it up there. Where is the hole I came in from? Oh, focus. Oh, there we go. And we ain't even got to worry about climbing up walls no more. Look at that shit. Oh, I love that ability. This is by far my favorite ability in the game, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. Oh, did I miss something? Yeah, the old map would be Luisa Territory and San Manuel. As far as I know, also my family has a lizard in that area. Yeah. So then... um. Sorry, I had a brain fart moment. I'm about to sprint like a bitch in a minute. Hey, run away. We're not fighting you right now. We do not. Look at, look at that. 
Look how much health it would take. No. Don't chase me the whole way. Please not. Stay your ass back there. Look, a little blue bunny thing. A little blue bunny with the owl face. Are you okay, bro? The booba frog creatures are supposed to live in caves, eh? What's a booba frog? What? <laughs> Don't scare me like that. My poor heart can't take it. Huh? Are you by chance looking for booba frogs too? That's right. Aha, I knew it. They must have asked you too. Supposedly there are creatures called booba frogs that live in caves. They're bluish and whitish and oh. stick to me speeding past some shit instead of reading it because yeah sorry sorry guys um <clears throat> let's go back let's go oh. back ah. oh oh apparently we can't you have your hands on a bubble jam you have the courage to not only go in a cave but to face down a strange creature you're a brave one ah. that's for sure if you manage to get your hands on a bubble jam you should try to find those two oddballs at woodland stable in eldon to the northeast those fellows were in a real frenzy to find those gems. I bet you fi you'll you find them in the cave near the stable. Wow. I heard them talking about some rare treasure they had. I think it was a mystic robe or something like that. You might not be, yeah, might not be a bad idea to go see them. Wow. All right, booboo frogs can be found in every cave. So I'm thinking I'll maybe check out another cave. Though I'll doubt I'll be able to find one that isn't dark and oh. scary. If you manage to get your hands on a booboo gem, you should try... To find those two oddballs at the Woodland Stable and Elden to the Northeast. Those fellows were in a real frenzy to find their gems. And I don't know. I've read all that already. So is that all they're going to say? That's all they're going to say every time. Yeah, that's all they're going to say every time. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to fuck up reading the captions there. I got ahead of myself and pressed the button too soon before I finished reading. And then skipped a lot of shit. Oh, yay, stables, run! Go get your horse. A new year, finally. Okay, I'm probably going to stop playing at this point because I have some things I gotta do today and I can hear my kids, the, the ones that are homeschooled anyway, rustling around in there. So um, I'll probably get to here, save it, and then... Um, come back live to play again maybe a little bit later but if not definitely tomorrow new serene stable or seren welcome to my stable we deal in all things horse related we also double as an inn hmm it seems you're not a member yet our stable uses the stable association's membership system so you'll need to register if you want to use it may i ask your name link all right mr link there you're all signed up now, would you like me to tell you about the stable system? I already know, but I'll go ahead and read out loud yeah. for anybody who does it and hasn't played game, the game and may or may not even intend to. So then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. There's a limit to how many horses you can board but you're able to swap them in and out as you please. Once again, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit the counter inside. Now, how can I help you? Okay, so I... Oh, very original, the invisible horse routine. I'm... See, there I did again, I pressed the A to... How about you stop kidding around and go catch a horse? Approach from behind and hop on. Got that funny guy? Huh? According to our books, you entrusted a horse to us once before. Apologies. I'll go ahead and register any horse you've had before. Just a moment. Anything else? Yeah, I want to take a horse. And there's all my horses. Panama, Butiana, Semiku, Watauba, and then Mora. I'm pretty sure this is the one that was Ganon's horse. Yep, look at him. He's not very fast, but he's big. 
if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it will come running. See, I fucked up and, and fast forwarded through some text again. I just want to ride the horse, guys. But your horse is in magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away. So do keep that in mind. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how pony points work. Pony uh -huh. points. That's right. It's a, it's a reward system. You can use it as stable. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Without further ado, since this is your first time visiting New Seren Stable, you get a pony point. Ooh, I got a pony points card, you guys. Using a stable earns points. Collecting points grants rewards. Points needed for the next reward, too. Save up to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companion. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, and other information. Cool. Come back anytime. Okay. That's something new that wasn't a thing in Breath of the Wild, so that's good to know. And I got my horses. I lost my save progress for this bitch right here. It was worth it. It was worth it. I'm still mad at how much progress I lost, but it was worth it. So, yeah, I'm probably going to end the live, but let me catch up on comments real quick and make sure I didn't miss anything before I do. Grandmother, 75% Taiwan, 25% African. I mean, that's not unheard of. That's a big horse. Yeah, he's huge, especially compared to the other ones. Hold on, let me see if I can get close enough to some of the other ones for comparison before I end the game. Okay. Like, in comparison to that horse right there. Wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. Come back. I was trying to get you closer. I didn't mean to jump off. It's not very fast because he's huge, but see, he is huge. Actually, I should probably activate this shrine so I can travel to it before I, before I go. Shinaka Walk Shrine. All right, I'll do all that bullshit later. Okay, for real this time. I gotta go. Um, oh, okay, take care. Yes, take care. It was nice talking to you guys. Thank you for, you know, supporting um, supporting me, supporting Taino Library, and for keeping me company while I played a little bit of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And um, like I said, I might be back on later for another hour or two, but if not, definitely sometime tomorrow. I think I'm going to make a habit of doing at least one live like this a day until, until I beat this sucker. Um, and if you don't already follow me on my alt account that I have dedicated to Be My Gamer page, please go. Um, it's up here at Phoenix Taino. I need to have at least 3,000 followers before TikTok will give me studio access like I, access like I have here on this page. So um, if y'all don't mind following me over there and helping me get to 3,000, I would really, really appreciate it. But um, other than that, I hope y'all have a good day. And I'm going to try to end the live now. Um, TikTok studio is sometimes dumb whenever I try to hit the end button. Okay. It's working. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>